This is the current state of state of the dam, the reserve. Right now, this is this month. The surface area of the reservoir of the Great Grand Renaissance Dam of Ethiopia. That is it. Oh, it is possible to. We can possibly say that the yellow border is the reserve volume in January 2022. Then the, the red one is in the rainy season in 2022. So they, they filled the dam in 2022 up to this level. But in 2003, they didn't feel anything. Actually, it was a dry season. But now there is raining in June, June, July. There is rain in Ethiopia, but still they are not feeling it. So the, this one, the blue line is is the current state of the level of the dam. That is it. It is possible to calculate the volume of the dam. From the satellite, Bonjour, hello, how are you? I am Mason. Today I'm going to calculate the reserve, the current state of the reserve volume of the Great Renaissance Dam of Ethiopia using satellite image, Google Earth Engine, or ArcGIS as well. So I am going to calculate the current state of the dam, the volume, how much water it contains right now. Did they fill in the previous years? How much? It's possible to calculate from your office without going to the dam site or using any kind of formula, sophisticated formulas to calculate the reserve. Simply by analyzing the digital elevation model or the Landsat image. Let us dive into. Okay. A second time. All right, that is a grand Ethiopian Renaissance job. And um, I simply calculated the reserve volume starting from January 22. The, the full year up to December 2022 and then again 
I calculated the volume until August, until right now, this week. How much water is there in the dam? It's very important to know that because see, without knowing the volume, you can't do anything else. Here it is. I'm going to use the Google Earth Engine in ArcGIS. That is it. Before I start, I just wanted to say about something about the about the dam and then how I calculated using the Google Earth Engine and ArcGIS and, and I will show you display the results. Then I will say my opinion. Uh, as you know, the guard is the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which is under construction until this moment. Almost 11 years, more than 11 years, and still it is going. The total volume, they say, the official uh, volume, maximum capacity of the reservoir is 74 billion cubic meter water. And it's located in Benchuan Golgumuz region in Western Ethiopia. And this study estimates the reservoir, the reservoir volume. Did they feel in the last, uh, uh, rainy season? Did they do it? We will see how much water they filled. And, uh, uh, for that, I use uh, Google um, Earth Engine, the most efficient uh, tool to extract land site image and so on. Then I calculated the volume using automatically ArcGIS. The reserve area was extracted in both dry season and rainy season and compared so that you can see the difference how much water filled and how much remains the extracted surface was again analyzed with ArcGIS to calculate the volume and the full volume the, the field volume the field volume has been calculated and the result displayed uh, this is a good dam this one is uh, this one is the this one is the, the catchment area watershed area and these are the rivers that are coming into the desa three big rivers are coming to join the Nile River and they just feed the Saddam. This is the, I, I think this is the current uh, state of the dam. It's beautiful, the dam. But actually the water is not, um, I don't think the water is just as high as this one at the moment. It is, uh, around 577, uh, around 590 meters. So the crust level is 640. The spillway, uh, the one which is in the middle of the dam. So I don't think it is stradizing over the top of the, the spillway. This is a tubes that lead to, to the turbines, penny stocks. Okay, how I calculated using the Google Earth Engine. First of all, I used Landsat, Landsat uh, image in to calculate the, to detect the water, water surface, and what to calculate the water area. I used the normalized difference 
water index method, which is a, a methodology used to uh, detect in, 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 in a plant leaf and a canopy if the content of water, especially for land start eight, band three minus band five over band three plus band five is is used. So I use that method, and other people use the survey soil adjusted the index vegetation index or enhanced vegetation index they use but NWI is enough for me so I am able to calculate the surface area of the water using that and I will show you in a minute how I did it then I mask and calculated the, um, the surface area Expose the surface area to ArcGIS for, for, for the volume analysis. Or we can also do it in ArcGIS. We simply uh, download the Landsat image or export it from the, the image itself. Then we can also do similar uh, process, processing or calculating the NDWI in the ArcGIS itself. Now the surface area, then calculate the volume. Let me show how I calculated that in, in a Google, Google engine. So this is the, the, the current state. It is like a 2023, up to August 2023, August this month. So the state, the current state of the dam is this. So let me show you how I calculate the, the other, the, the past years to detect the, whether the, they filled the dam or not. We can, you see, this is, this is the, the codes that I used. It's, it's not important actually. Here it is. That is it. This is the, the reservoir in 2000. See, both in dry season in, in wet season, we can, we can do this. This is in rainy season, it means in 2022, in uh, June, June up to December, the water level is this, you know, the water surface area of the water, the reservoir is this. And then in a, in a dry season, you see, before, it means before June and December, uh, uh, there was, the, I mean, little water as compared to the, to the, the rainy season. So these are the two important, um, periods that I, I am concerned to, I mean, to, to calculate the volume, the, the volume differences. You see, as you see here, I have already calculated in dry season, the surface area is 378 square kilometers. And uh, the wet season surface area is 768 square kilometers. So the volume in dry season, this, I got it in ArcGIS, 7 billion. It was 7 billion. And then, in the rainy season, in the, in the June up to December 2022, then the volume becomes 21 billion cubic meter of water. Then the difference is 30 billion, more than 30 billion cubic meter of water gained, accumulated during that period. So let us see the difference of the surfaces, you see, this was during the rainy season and this was during the 
dry season. That is it. You can see the volume difference here. That is it. So that's what that is the only thing we do in here in ArcGIS. We simply extract the surface area of the two seasons and calculate the surface area. We can see already here the surface area is calculated by the Google itself. 768 during the rainy season and it was 378 during the dry season. That is from January to May. It increased double, two times almost, we can say. Almost, nearly. So, that is it. Then I exported the, the, the thing to, to ArcGIS simply. I use some code ex to export. See, we can see here, for example, a simple to export. I exported, you see, to my, to my ArcGIS. That's so what, that is uh, the, the use of GE, Google uh, Earth Engine, here. So we can continue to the, to the, to the ArcGIS. I will show you how. Okay, in ArcGIS, I exported it into my drive, then I, I brought it here. You see? This is the dry season. This is the current state of the dam. And this is the rainy season. You see, you can see the current state of the dam is it's almost, almost equal, but it's not equal. You see, um, almost 5 billion uh, meter cube of water lost in, in 2003, we can say. You see, this is the rainy season. This is the rainy season. And uh, you can see maybe the area of the rainy season. We can, so let us check. Open. 780 uh, square kilometers, the area. And uh, the current st state of 656. Now it, the surface area reduced. 656 and uh, it was before in 2002 in January it was 387 that is the area that is the area so from this we can calculate the depth now if we have the Digital elevation, elevation model, now using this surface area, it's possible to calculate the volume. And I will show you the result of my calculation in a minute. But before that, let me take you to another methodology, how to extract the area of the, the surface area of the reservoir using also ArcGIS. You see, in ArcGIS, you just simply import the Landsat image here with bands, you know. Um, for example, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in extracting the water surface, we need to band 3 and band 5. And the, and the WI, that is normalized um, difference. Water index, yes. B3 minus B5. B3 plus B5 gives you this, this surface area. And we'll differentiate between the water and the other surfaces. For example, you can see these are the surfaces 
of water and this one is the other the land surface so if this is negative and this is positive water is positive it means if the nw nd uh, the the nwi normally the difference uh, water index is above zero up to one then that that means it's water body so you can simply extract from this you know you just simply go here S simple step let me show you first we have to separate the bandits it's very simple separating the bandits you just go here let's see, 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 see if it doesn't take time Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Okay. You just simply go, I think, the data management tool. Uh, okay, layers and tables view. Hmm. Make rasta. Here you can make. Uh, you separate the bands. You see, you can hear the bands. The bands are here. You know. You, you simply, for example, this is this is your rasta. Your rasta image. It will it will tell you um, the type of the bands. For example, you see these are the bands that exist. Seventeen bands. Then you select the bands, it means you separate your band. Then this one is a separated band, you know. This is the B5, let me, let me show. This is B5, and B5 is, you know, near infrared um, wave, and B3 is the green, the visible, the green one. So the green minus uh, this one, B5 over, B3 plus B5 is the formula. So now you can go to the Rasta calculator. Map algebra. You can go there. You see, uh, we have to change it into UTM first because to make the calculation. So here it is. See the float B3 minus b3 minus b3 minus yeah b3 minus b5 is the formula yes divided float b3 plus b5 that will give you NDWI, NDWI, maybe that's the third time I'm calculating. Here it is. It will calculate for us. Then now we have the NW, N, NDWI, <laughs> the normalized, the d difference. You see, we have got it. The raster is here. Now, this is the, the the image we need to to extract the water surface. So, for example, let me see to extract from here. We just now we simply reclassify, reclassify. Which one? This one. I reclassify it into one we need only the water yes so one okay just we need the water zero up to one then uh, all must be single 
What is this? So, let this one be zero. Let this one be one. And give everything one. Now, reclass anyone. Let it be. It is better to select this. Reclass NDW1. That is it. We reclassified. If you are successful, exactly that's what we need. So, have you seen now? This is, this is, this is it. We extracted the area of the current stars of the dam. This is the year 2023. So this is the current status of the dam right now. This is the volume. We can see how much uh, area we have. Simply come here to calculate the area. Add fields, area, floats, area. Now to calculate the area, field calculator, we count the pixels, actually uh, the pixel size is already known, 30 by 30, you know, uh, let, let me bring from there, you see, we can see from the source, that is, yeah, this is the size of the pixel. Each pixel is almost 30 meters. We can just simply to, to be correct. We can put it 30 by 30 parts instead of. Let us minimize our error. This is divided by, this is in meter square. We, when we divide it by 1 million, 10 to the power of 6, it means it will give us a square kilometer. Six, six, six square kilometer. The final uh, uh, surface water area of the dam is 1,870 something. We have to, we have to double it. I mean, it, triple, I think, to fill the dam. So we need two times surface area of this one to fill the dam. So this is the area now. If we know the area, it's very simple to calculate the volume. I will show you how I calculated the volume. This is how we can do it in ArcGIS. The one that I showed you is how we can do it in, in Google Earth. Then that is everything we need to do. Then after that, we have, you know, this is my previous, this is the, previ uh, the total capacity. Uh, that is clipped from the bigger digital elevation. And this is the, the one which, uh, um, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I brought it from the previous, uh, my previous calculation. So that is the digital division model of the total, total full capacity. It's a full capacity. So if we are able to extract clip from this digital elevation model using the area, the current state of the dam surface area. We can pick, we can clip, clip it. For example, let me say for rainy, for the rainy season, for dry season first, let us, this is the dry season. And this is the, the one which I, 
let me let me this is the one which I uh, the depths this is the um, Mm. Um. Ah, okay. Here it is. I just want to have this. This is the dry season. Uh, let us see the dry season. This is clipping. I just simply clip for the dry season. This is a digital elevation model now. It is easy to calculate the volume. For example, we first change it into integer. Uh, then we do, uh, we calculate the depths. For example, um, we know the contour, you know. We know the contour. It's very simple. We can have the contour and determine the elevation. So for the dry season, the elevation of the contour, when the surface level elevation is um, 577. I, I can show you here. I can show you. I, I, I calculated it from the surface here. You see, the water level elevation is 577. It's just simply calculated from the from the contour. There is, here is a contour contour. We can simply uh, calculate using uh, uh, this is a contour. You know, from the contour you can pick where the level is. You know the elevation, the surface level elevation. So you can do mathematics from the surface elevation. Then you, it means you can, you can subtract the, the elevation of each pixel from that, from the control level, then multiply it by the area, it will give you volume. That is, it's very simple, it's clear. I mean, it, it seems very complicated, but you know, this is a contour, then you just simply pick, for example, we can pick one, just simply to show. Um, there's a contour line. For dry, the dry season, you see? Here is a contour line, you can pick this. You know, this is a contour line. Yeah, you see, 570, you can see. Yes. Let us, let us give it time because this is a contour, you know, it's a big fight. You know, that is it, 570. It is 577, the division. You know, I developed different contours that match, that match uh, the, you know, called different contour in a sense, elevation level, uh, as per my, my needs. For example, I, I do contour in five meters distance or ten meters, three meters, two meters, uh, you know, then I, I find the, um, you know, the right contour for my, for my, uh, file. So, 577 for the dry season is the one I picked. So that is the elevation. So then after that, it is very easy to calculate the, the volume. And now the volume is in dry season. This is, for example, you can see the volume I calculated. This is the volume I calculated. We can see the star six, you see. 
seven billion, seven billion water was there during the, the dry season. Then after June, the government filled the dam. They filled the dam during the rainy season in 2002 and the debts, I mean the area, the volume I calculated during that season is uh, as clearly you see, you see, you see the difference here is this one is the surface area of the dry season, this one is the wet season so here is the volume calculated for the rainy season so the, let us see the statistics, you see during the rainy season the dam becomes 21 billion, more than 21 billion meter cube of water accumulated during the rainy season. What is the gain? The gain is 13 billion meter cube of water gained in 2002. It means the government of Ethiopia filled the dam in 2002 in the rainy season and 30 billion meter cube of water gain. What is the elevation of the, uh, the, I mean, the 21 billion meter cube? It is 600 uh, meter. The elevation is 600 meter. Um, know that the elevation of the, the dam, the total, uh, the speed is 614. 640, 40, 640, that is the top level, the maximum level. Then in 2002, the reservoir was at 640 meters less than the maximum, it means. Then at 600, we can operate dams, uh, turbines, for example, because the minimum operating level is here, you can see 600, 590. That is it. That is the minimum operating level. Since the minimum operating level is 580, then 10 meters, only 10 meters gained to operate the it's not much actually, but we can operate with that. We can operate the the turbines. Maybe they may <clears throat> use it to to generate electricity. I don't know, but <clears throat> they lost in 2023 five billion meter cube of water, this, this amount, more than 5 billion, they lost. Maybe that might be evaporation, we don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they used it for, for, I mean, rotating the turbine, generating electricity. Or maybe there is seepage, you yeah, are creeping the water, you know, you can't stop completely the water. There might be some seepage and so on. That's water loss. Actually, most of the time the dam, you know, they, they do grouting to, to fill all the cracks, you know, below the, the dam site. That helps to reduce the seepage, but I don't think that um, it completely stops the, the seepage, you know, you can't uh, grout, do grouting all over the place. For example, in the other side of the, um, the dam, you know, you can't do everywhere that grouting. Grouting means you just simply do a cement slurry and pressure it into the cracks, you know, using machines, you know. Then that cement slurry, when it dries, it's, you know, it, um, blocks the, the cracks, you know, it enters into the cracks and it gets dry there and then it blocks 
that is grousing. So I don't know how five billion water loss. I don't know. There is also some water in the river. I think it's not completely dry. It's coming always. Although it is lower as compared to the, the rainy season, but they lost five billion. Five billion meters. More than five billion. The number is here now. More than five billion meter cube. This is how I use this digital division model to calculate the volume. This is the current state is the red one and this is the maximum. The black one is the maximum capacity and you can see how much uh, remains. Lot of, lot of water needed to, to fill the dam now. So. That was the, the calculation I, I did. I can show you the differences between the different states. You can see, for example, you don't need this one. You can see in rainy season, you can see the current status as well. This is the current status. Mm, this is the, uh, this is the dry season in 2002. That is it. We can see the zoom level. You see? You can see the three states. This is the, the 2021, 22 January. The, this, this brown, color is the current state of the dam and the violet color is the 2022 last year so we lost some water five billion meter cube so how much we gain we have still eight billion uh profit i mean net storage is five billion still we have that we gained from the 2022 so that is it that is the the volume we have now um we can accumulate in one year well, we we brought it from 2022 that is i mean i mean the the net one so it, it is a gain from 2022 and we can assume that we are considering the loss, you know, so 8 billion uh, uh, cubic meter can be stored in each year. So with that, with that trend, if you continue the same, then we need to fill the dam how many years? Seven years, more than seven years. I will show you the calculation. That is it. The surface area is here, the water elevation, the volume recorded, the volume calculated from the surface area and so on. The current state of the volume is 50 billion, more than 50 billion, nearly 16 billion meter cube of water is available right now. How much water needed to fill the dam? to reach into 72 or 73 or 74 cubic meter of water, we need more 75 billion meter cube of water. So if we can accumulate in each year, if we gain the net storage and see is 8 billion, then if we multiply this amount of water, the water that we require to fill the dam, the space which is free now, then we divide with this 8 million. Because we assume that in each year, 8 million water is going to, I mean, net 8, 8 million 
maybe sometimes it, it, it might differ in years, but let us assume that each year we are going to get 8 million net storage or water. Then if we divide that number with this one, then we are going to get 7.139. It means almost 7, more than 7. Years are required to fill the Renaissance Dam. That is it. That's all about how we can calculate, you know. It's very easy to calculate the volume of water, the present, the past, and so on, and easily, you know, regulate. Especially this um, method of calculating the volume of a dam is important for any dam. Especially if you consider a dam that is used to uh, to water supply, you know, like Mudimar Dam in in Southern Africa. That dam is is for water consumption, domestic water consumption, water supply system. So we need to know the volume, how much water we need. And see, you know, the population number is there, calculates per person daily usage is already fixed, we know it. So if you divide that roughly with the population daily usage volume, then you know that how much uh, water is needed to supply water to the population and you can prepare for that. if. You can, you know, you can uh, um, avert it. You can say to the people, no, we are not going to have water. We don't. Uh, you know, you, you use it for planning. So this kind of calculating the volume of water from satellite image easily using Google Earth Engine and ArcGIS is wonderful. It makes life easy. So thank you very much for listening. Ethiopia can use now the water to, to, I mean, to tourism and recreational purpose, fishing and so on. Maybe they can also use it for irrigation or drinking water as well. They can develop many things, you know, until they fill the dam, and I mean, and, until it reaches into full capacity. That is it, it needs seven years. Or maybe they can just simply start using it in, in the before seven years, and you know, they may lose more water again, and may to fill completely the dam, it may also need some more time, more than seven, ten years, twelve years, fifteen years, to fill it completely. So that is my calculation, and I thank you for listening my my presentation. So I am happy that I am able to easily calculate the, the, the dam, you know, the volume of the dam. How wonderful it is, how wonderful it is. Vogel is wonderful. This is the current status, of, you know. It is not visible actually in Google because Google image is not current. This one is current, you know. Recent image. So you can see, for example, that is the let us see. It doesn't exist in Google Image, but this is it. That is, this is the current state. And it is 15 billion meter cube of water. This is a saddle dam, you know. You can see it is almost here. But still, we need more. We need more water.
the elevation is uh, 593 exactly 593 and the minimum operating uh, level of the dam is 590 so we have only three meter above the minimum operating level so i don't think that the dam is now the turbines are working so that is it. Merci beaucoup for listening.